G'day ice cream lovers, my name is Steve Christensen. Welcome to Scoop School. Welcome to another Scoop School session. Nice to have you here at the whiteboard. I kind of like the whiteboard. There are some people who say, no, not the whiteboard. Look, this is where the rubber meets the road right here, at the whiteboard. Do want to thank our episode sponsor, Classic Mix, uh, Hank, Ted Galloway, Pat Galloway, all of the Galloways, three generation uh, ice cream mix, frozen dessert mix. They make a great sorbet mix as well. Classic mix. It's a classic. Top five reasons to use classic mix. Let's go. Anyway, the link's down the bottom. Uh, talk to the lads. Talk to Hank. He's been in the equipment business and the mix business. He'll certainly help you out with uh, mix selection and letting you know what they have. Classic Mix is the website. It's down here. Click on the link. Tell them that Steve sent you. Now, do you want to talk a little bit about machine selection? We get a lot of questions on the comments, a lot of questions in class, a lot of questions on the phone about what brand should I use? What brand do you recommend? We have a lot of different brands here at, the, at uh, Scoop School. If you come to a live class in person or a live stream class, you'll see all of them being used. Uh, we get a lot of questions about, hey, uh, there are some overseas machines. Are they good? Are they not? Uh, there are some new to the market uh, that don't have a lot of longevity. Are they new? Are they not? I think that there is a certain amount of elements that you need to look at when determining whether a machine is right for you. And I'll come up with the acronym SAFES. Is it SAFES for you? <laughs> Look, I had to get all of them in. And I tried different combinations. I even tried different words. So this is the best I could come up with. Okay, the first of which is service. So what's the serviceability of the unit that you're looking at? Is there a service agent near you? Is it covered by warranty? How quickly can they respond? And if there's not a service agent near you, can the manufacturer recommend another company, uh, perhaps another refrigeration company, that can come and service your equipment? Servicing for emergency, uh, hey, my machine's down, it's Friday night, who do I talk to? As well as your preventative maintenance service or your PM service. Can they send you parts? Uh, can they come and look at your machine at the beginning of the season or the end of the season? Serviceability is a good thing. So when you're talking to manufacturers, ask about who it is in your area that can help support you in your machine. Very important. The second is affordability. Affordability. I know this is, this is an O. I know people getting into the business uh, don't want to spend a lot of money and they don't want to drop uh, a whole lot of money on a new machine, but you've got to look at where you want to be in the next five years. So look at the budget, look at different price points and figure out what functionality you need, which is the next one, uh, and what sort of dollar amount that's going to cost you. I know a lot of people buy smaller machines when they get in only to find out within a year or so that they need to actually buy a much bigger machine. So affordability is the key. You've got to have a look at price points and price points uh, as well as the next point here, functionality. So functionality is really important because if you want a machine that actually heats your mix and then drops it down, you may find a, a price point that's lower but it doesn't have the functionality that you need. Some machines have front extraction, uh, some don't. We're talking about primarily about batch freezers here but we're going to talk about uh, soft serve and custard in a minute. But so far as will it do what you want it to do? Uh, you might get a great price on a double barrel or two barrel soft serve machine, but you wanted a twin twist and this particular unit does not have a twin twist. So have a look at your menu, have a look at what you want to achieve with your menu and then think, hey, does this machine actually suit what I want to achieve? Can I grow into this machine uh, or will I be having to get something else down the road because it's not giving me the functionality that I need? Speaking of machines, they're all chiming in. Yes, yeah, Steve, we agree with what you're saying. Compressors on, compressors unite. The next one is ease of use. 
Now, remember, it's not only going to be you that's running this machine. You'll more than likely have, uh, if you're talking batch freezers, one, maybe two other employees, uh, key employees that will be making ice cream for you. But if you're talking soft serve and custard, you may also have uh, employees that are putting the machine together, sanitizing this unit, pulling it apart at the end of the night, cleaning it. The actual functionality or the, uh, the running of that machine, is it easy to use? Is it easy to clean? This is really important because if it's only you running the machine or the machine is so complicated that it's only you uh, behind that machine, then that really ties you to that machine. So ease of use is very, very important. And the last of which is uh, the size of that unit. Or you could say the capacity of that unit. Now, batch freezers are rated by their barrel size. So when you're talking to a manufacturer, you might say, well, uh, what am I looking at here? A 20 quart machine, a 16 quart machine, a 40 quart machine. But remember that that's only the barrel size. That actually doesn't give you an indication of what it can make per hour. So always ask the manufacturer, what is my liquid batch size, minimum and maximum for a batch freezer? How much can I make in one batch? How long will one batch take to make? And how many batches can I make per hour? Now, custard machines and soft serve machines are generally rated by gallons per hour. So rather than making batches, it's basically saying that you can make so many gallons of product per hour out of a uh, basically a machine that is uh, soft serve or custard. Uh, so again, ask the question, um, what sort of uh, volume are going to get out of this machine? Because that's really, really important. You want to make sure also with a soft serve machine that you're buying the size of the barrel and size of the compressor, but you're not going to outdraw it. So if you've got a smaller soft serve machine and your goal is to have the biggest shakes in town, 32 ounce shakes, um, a smaller compressor, smaller barrel, smaller hopper, you will outdraw that machine very quickly, even on a one and a half shakes, because it doesn't have the volume or the capacity uh, or even the compressor capacity to be able to keep that product frozen and you'll outdraw it. Service, affordability, functionality, ease of use, size. Safe. So when people ask me, well, what's my favorite brand of machine? I actually don't have a favorite brand of a machine. Uh, all of the companies that send equipment down here to Scoob School, we love using them. They are great machines. They fall within my SAFES acronym. Uh, so you've got to ask your question or ask the question of the equipment manufacturers you're looking at. I guess recommendations too, talking to other people about recommendations and what units they use, but you'll find that sometimes their focus will be different to yours. So very important to go through this. Uh, be very analytical about your machine choice. Always don't buy it just because it's green. Uh, very, very important because this is something you're going to be tied to. And again, I say a lot, this is the goose that lays the golden egg. This is the one machine that you'll have in your store that basically is making the product that you are going to sell. Everything else here, walk-in freezers, chest freezers, shelves, sinks, dipping cabinets are all ancillary to the process of this machine making this product. Make a good decision, please do that. Do uh, the analytics, do the research and find out this. Happy to help you with uh, any questions in the comments. And thank you to Classic Mix again, our sponsor for this episode. Look, if you have a conundrum, a problem, we'd love to answer it for you. Well, look, we'll try our best. If you're watching this video and you're thinking, you know what, a lot of good information here. What can I do to give back? We don't want your money, honey. We just want your subscription. So click on the subscription button below, keep on scooping, and we will see you in the next video.